Tucker Carlson's endorsement of J.D. Vance marks a pivotal moment in political leadership, shining a spotlight on authenticity, integrity, and the fight against corrupt power structures. It's vital to delve into the emotional and psychological effects of Carlson's words on his audience, highlighting how they reinforce their values and skepticism about the political system. I guess that's the other thing that I learned. So now J.D. Vance is the VP pick, and I think every person who pays close attention has got to be thrilled by that. And if you don't know much about J.D. Vance, I'm not even going to make a case for J.D. Vance. I'm going to tell you what I just saw, which is that every bad person I've ever met in a lifetime in Washington was aligned against J.D. Vance. And I do think the negative case is often more powerful because I know of myself, I do not think I'm a particularly good person. I have strong reasons for feeling that way. I don't always think that my side is right. I know for a fact I have been wrong many, many times. And I, I hope to correct and be honest about my error. So it's, it's not like I think that, you know, I'm always, you know, God's always on my side. Sometimes I'm not on God's side. But I definitely know who's representing the other side. It's a lot easier to tell who the people who are only in it because they like, I don't know, killing other people in pointless wars. Like I know who those people are. And their odor is so powerful that I can smell one when he walks in the room. And every single one of those people in a line that would extend from Milwaukee to Chicago was lined up over the last week to knife J.D. Vance. Not on personal grounds. I mean, he's a perfectly nice guy. He's like one of the only members of the Senate with a happy marriage. True. But because they thought he would be harder to manipulate and slightly less enthusiastic about killing people. That's it. That he would be an impediment to their exercising power. And boy, they went after him in a way I've just kind of never seen which I think happens every day in Washington. I just don't have a vantage on it because I'm far, far away and grateful to be. And again, I was just reminded that this process is so ugly that normal people do not want to participate in it. And yet normal people have to suck it up and do so anyway, because the consequences are just so profound and so very serious. That's the first thing I was reminded of. Through unwavering authenticity and integrity, Tucker Carlson's support for J.D. Vance as vice president resonates profoundly with conservative values of individual responsibility and minimal government interference. Carlson emphasizes Vance's resistance to manipulation and opposition to unnecessary military interventions, painting him as a candidate who stands firm against corruption. It's commendable how Carlson candidly acknowledges his own mistakes while offering steadfast support to Vance, who he perceives as battling a corrupt, power-hungry establishment. This struggle for individual authenticity versus inauthentic power is crucial in Carlson's narrative. Carlson's portrayal of Vance's opponents as power-seeking rather than morally driven amplifies the emotional and psychological impact on viewers' roars. For them, Carlson's fervent support for Vance and his critique of the current political elite likely fuel distrust in the political establishment and ignite a desire for leaders seen as honest and incorruptible. Vance, embodying these values and struggles, garners loyalty and commitment from Carlson's audience. The public's reaction to Carlson's remarks reflects broader social attitudes towards power, authenticity, and resistance. Supporters of Vance might feel validated in their skepticism of the political status quo, energized by the prospect of a vice presidential candidate willing to challenge it. Conversely, Critics may argue that Carlson's comments exacerbate political polarization and reveal deep divisions within American politics. Evaluating Carlson's effectiveness in rallying support for Vance, we see how he portrays Vance as an empathetic and principled figure, using personal anecdotes and emotional appeals to connect with his audience. This style of communication is crucial for fostering faith in Vance as a candidate capable of building a strong emotional bond with voters and driving meaningful change.